so it's been a little while since I posted a video and I usually will post them like the night like before my chemo because I get a little nervous and I start thinking and I start to get in my head usually and you know the whole typical like blah I'm freaking out um, but tonight's a little different um, I'm freaking out for a good reason now, <laughs> more than a bad reason. Sorry about the reflection of my glasses. It's a little too dark in here maybe, but I hope you all can see me and more importantly hear me. Um, so yeah, this is what I look like normally. Uh, with no makeup and a uh, little chemo cap on here because my little head gets cold, you know, without that covering. It's amazing how cold you get when you don't wear one of these, it's crazy. So, to everybody else who rocks a bald head, I mean, man, I don't know how you're not freezing all the time. <laughs> so, anyways, that's off topic. Um, the reason I'm not freaking out tonight is much because I am freaking out in a good way of excitement and hope um, and this, like, new drive um, and this kind of new purpose, almost, that I've been given. Um, a man named Michael Meadows uh, reached out to me. Um, and told me about this amazing thing. Um, it's called the Meadows Turkey Bowl. And I've never heard of it before, actually, although I don't play much football and stuff, and my Thanksgivings have always been filled with my little son running around and, you know, breakfast in the morning and things like that. And so I have never been involved or really heard of this organization. And he tells me about this Meadows Bowl. And when I hear about it, and I research it and I read about it. It's like this amazing, amazing organization and then group of people that play this football game on Thanksgiving morning and they donate all of the money that they raise to cancer survivors and to help cancer victims and well, not I don't know for victims, but that's another topic. But it goes to all this great cancer um, in the needy and it's just so cool and it's so inspiring and they raised so much money like over a million dollars for all these people and and they're amazing people so this man Mike Meadows calls me and introduces himself and he is like the liveliest kindest person I've spoken to in quite a while and um, tells me about this amazing event and um, gives me more information about it. And then the next thing I know, um, a man named, oh, and I'm probably going to butcher his last name, uh, but he's amazing. A man named Mark, oh, what was it, Bona, uh, Bana, oh, I hope I didn't butcher it, but he's amazing. And I'm so sorry I mispronounced your last name if I did because I have chemo brain and it's a real thing. So I really do apologize for that. I'm usually better with uh, names of people I'm super grateful towards. <laughs> Um, but I forgot my own name the other day, at least my middle name, <laughs> so, um, it's no offense to you at all, it's just the brain. Um, but yeah, it's so awesome because, um, he got in touch with me and he is a reporter on good things and he's reported on this Meadows Bowl for a long time now and he knows, um, Michael Meadows and he called me and wanted to kind of know my story and my mission and everything and I like to talk about my mission and my story because I want to help people and I've turned this YouTube channel into like this little video diary of my experience so far and I keep it really real and just talk to it like I would be talking to myself or writing in a diary so um, I'm gonna keep that up for now and just keep talking about what I'm feeling for this one um, because I'm stunned. Um, after talking to Mark and telling him what I wanted to do and um, telling him about my introduction video, if you've watched that, uh, you'll know what my mission's all about and you can read it in my bio and just create awareness and wanting to give back because I'm not going to die. Um, I'm going to survive this. So I know I'm going to survive this, but what do I do after that? What do I make of this experience and how do I go on? Um, after I survive this, there's got to be a reason for it and I want to help and be involved in it and use this as my, um, my cause now that I'm super passionate about because I have a purpose. So 
that's exciting and thanks to these guys they've given me an even larger purpose and that has been so uplifting that I can't tell you how it broke me out of this cancer shell and opened up my mind to bigger and better possibilities and to accepting help and being able to still give out help at the same time. I am not a uh, person who accepts help easily nor under typical circumstances. Um, as all of you may know or some of you may know, I used to be a case manager for Children's Advantage and worked with families there and Rape Crisis Center and Battered Women's Shelter and have worked in those types of fields for a very long time. So it's usually the opposite way around. Um, so accepting the help and the gratitude and then being able to give back um, is just like so exciting for me. It's like a gift. Um, they've given me so many gifts already. And I found out I was going to be the beneficiary of this Meadows Bowl. As I read more about it, it's like this huge honor. And I'm gonna try really hard not to cry. Um, it's a huge, huge honor. And I'm so incredibly excited and blessed. And I got to meet these wonderful men today. I got to meet Michael Meadows finally in person and his wonderful son Pete. And then this awesome guy, Chad Tuchak, who is going to be playing just for me and playing with my name on his back. And he is just this amazing guy who like, I totally just understood and wanted to know more about and uh, vibed with and, it was nice to have somebody that was uh, my age um, that had also battled cancer and overcome it and hear from their perspective because I've been searching for that around here and it's hard to find. So thanks for that, Chad. I adored meeting you and everyone today. And I wanted to post this video to thank them um, and to thank you for the amazing article and for this honor and for choosing me because I, um, I won't let you down and you help me accomplish, uh, you're gonna help me accomplish my dream out of this journey as well. So uh, with my uh, second chemo of tax all being tomorrow, this is not the raw chemo feels, this is a positive raw chemo feels. I'm gonna go into this with a brighter attitude than I ever have and a stronger one and I can't thank you enough for that. I haven't felt this positive in my entire journey or thankful. <laughs> so many feelings, so many, so many different feelings from all over and so many amazing people. It's overwhelming in the best way. But um, I apologize if I left anybody out or anything out. It's just um, when something like this comes into your life it's overwhelming, so much gratitude you're feeling, so many amazing feelings, and you just don't know how to put them into words. They just make you smile and then cry, happy tears like this. So going into my second tax all tomorrow, part of my fears of that have been I've already lost most of my eyelashes and um, I still have some eyebrows hanging in there and they look a lot thicker right now in this lighting than they really do in brighter lighting and losing my eyelashes is hard because I feel like I look like an alien and yes you do get dark circles under your eyes and those like never go away so that all really you know it's not fun when you're young and you're not used to that so I'm gonna be like completely hairless soon. And that makes me feel like an alien. So I'm nervous for that. But this has helped me build up my confidence again. Um, but when I look in the mirror, I wanna just see somebody that I'm comfortable with and I'm working on that. So, and this has given me the opportunity to do so and to put a face on cancer because cancer isn't pretty all the time. It's not always pink and pretty pink symbols of bows and uh, happy people racing and you know supporting the cause with smiles it's a lot of you know pain and suffering for not just the cancer actual patient but their families and their friends and all those who love them they also suffer too so this has just been 
an amazing journey and in the past week um, I've just had incredible things happen and I want to thank again for the amazing article today and being the beneficiary of this Meadows Turkey Bowl on Thanksgiving morning and I hope you all attend because it's in a big stadium and I am super pumped for it. I think it's going to be a great time and it's just going to be so fabulous and exciting and it's for such a wonderful cause so come out and check this out because it's going to be well worth your time. I can guarantee that and um, thank you for giving me this honor to pay it forward and to be part of this and to be your beneficiary. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for your support out there. I'll be possibly live tomorrow during chemo. My best friend is going with me and one of my best girlfriends, Rachel. And so, um, yeah, so maybe we'll be definitely taking some videos during the six hours of my treatment. So stay tuned and see you tomorrow.